Let's go a little further south in Buenos Aires to talk about Boca Juniors. They're from the La Boca neighborhood in Buenos Aires, and there are two key nicknames you should know for them. First, La Azul y Oro, which comes from the blue and the yellow gold in their kit. And second, Los Aneses, or the Genoese, which comes from the fact that they were founded by immigrants from Genoa in Italy. They haven't always worn blue and gold, and I love the origin story about how they got it, because legend has it that back in 1906, they were playing another Argentinian team who wore the same kit as them, and the goal of the match was to decide who got to keep wearing that kit color. Boca lost that match, so they had to decide on what their new colors would be, and their founders decided that they would choose the colors of the flag of the next ship to come into port at La Boca, and it turned out it was a Swedish ship, so blue and gold. Their badge itself is pretty straightforward as a shield with blue and yellow around the edge and the letters of their club, Club Atletico Boca Juniors. And they can put a lot of stars around their badge because of the amount of titles they want, but they don't. They put it within the badge. Boca have won 34 league titles and 14 national cups, which is the place that their rivals River Plate can pit them for success. But they can't compete with them when it comes to international titles, and neither can most clubs in the world, because that's where Boca Juniors have 22 international titles. The only clubs in the world that have more are Real Madrid of Spain and Al Ali of Egypt. Boca play at the Alberto Armando Stadium, but nobody calls it that. Everybody calls it La Bombonera or the Chocolate Box, which is a weird name for a stadium, but it ends up making sense when you see it because three sides of the stadium are sharp vertical tiers of seats and a fourth that is just a vertical set of box suites. And from there, it looks like a box of chocolates. And it's very helpful for the fans of Boca because they are loud and voracious, and that verticality keeps in sound very well, making a bombastic atmosphere. It'll give you three players from the past, Martin Palermo, who's their all-time goal scorer, as well as a man that's near and dear to my heart as a City fan, Carlitos Tevez, who came from and went back to Boca. And in a similar fashion, although he only played about 70 games for Boca in the leagues, Diego Maradona. And to name you three players currently in their squad, they have a nice young striker in Luis Vasquez, as well as a winger, Christian Pavon, who you may have known if you've watched LA Galaxy. And finally, one of their left backs, Frank Fabra. So that's Boca Juniors. Give me a name of another club, probably in the big five in Argentina, that you'd like to see on the channel some point in the future.